Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide for Farming Simulator 2017 and in this guide I'm going to show you guys uh, how you need to fertilize perfect. So the basics works like this, so you need to fertilize three times and every fertilize gives you 30% more crops. If you plow your field you are going to get an extra 10% so that means uh, you can get 100% more crops if you do it right uh, or double the amount of crops so but what you need to do is you can only fertilize once every growth stage so that's very important so you can do it three times after each other but it's not going to be effective so in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys what you need to do so first of all I already plowed my uh, uh, my field here so I got a very small area that is plowed the left side I already fertilized with a normal fertilizer and the right side I'm going to do with my sewing machine so you can have in your sewing machine a fertilizer I will show you really quick how you can see it in the shop so you need to go to a sewing machine uh, where is it where is it where is it yeah it's getting late here it's 4 a.m at the moment and i'm getting very tired so here are the sewing machines so if you click on this one you will see here no icon of fertilizing if you click on the one that i got you see here the icon that means that you can put fertilizing in the sewing machine so it's going to do the boat so it's going to sew and at the same moment it's going to fertilize okay so the left side of this field i just did normal so i fertilize it with this setup so it's just fertilizing a box on your uh, tractor and you just drive over it the other one i'm going to do with my sewing machine so let's go to the sewing machine let's go over here and let the worker do it and then i can talk with you guys about the monitor system because in this game you can monitor everything so you just uh, need to know what the colors mean and i will show you guys that now if my dude is doing his job so if you go to uh, growing, you can see here four stages of growing. So it's uh, marked with green. So here you see my other field. Uh, so this is dark green. So it's almost time to harvest here. And this light green is only the starting of growing. So what you need to do is uh, you're just going to uh, put seeds in the ground. And on that moment, you're already in phase one. You guys can see it here on my uh, uh, sewing machine. It's getting nicely green. So now I'm in growing stage one and I'm fertilizing at the moment too. So how can you see that uh, in what stage you are fertilizing? You just click here at the right. Uh, so you see everything is red because it needs plowing, but I already plowed my area so I can see the fertilize. If you don't want to plow, and I can understand that, you just click here and you just see uh, yeah, the fertilizing. So all the red is gone because red means that you still need to plow. Okay, so here you see the three stages of uh, fertilizing. So stage one, two, three. So that's how you can check it in what stage that you are. So sometimes it's hard to see because at some point you need to fertilize when the crops are very high. You cannot see uh, the difference anymore. But uh, that's how you know it. So what we are going to do now is, so my guy is uh, putting the seeds in the ground. And I'm already going to speed up the time. Because now I need to go to the moment that my crops come out of the ground. And then it's time to go to stage number two of the fertilizing process. The problem with this game is that you can fertilize three times. It's going to become dark. Uh, yeah, the biggest dark for fertilizing. And you can think I'm in stage three, but you're, uh, you're not effective enough. You only are effective for one growing stage. So that's the problem. You cannot see it visual. You just need to know it. And it's in the help function. They are just saying it in the help. 
that's how, how I know because it's very hard to test. So here you see it. Uh, but remember that fertilization is only effective once per grow stage. So that's how you, I know it because I didn't know it either because you cannot see it. That's the main problem. So what we are going to do now is let's speed it up to 120 because my guy is done. Or maybe he want to do the other uh, stuff too. So now we just need to wait a little bit until my crops are coming out of the ground. And then we can do stage 2 of fertilizing. So, uh, but I'm going to edit the video here guys. Because it can take a couple of minutes and I'm not going to wait. So I see you guys in 5 milliseconds back. Okay guys, I'm now in uh, the second grow phase. You guys can see it. So my uh, soya beans came out of the ground. And now it's time to do the second phase of uh, fertilizing. So let's have a look at the colors. So you guys see that I'm still in phase one of fertilizing. Let's have a look. I'm now, I think that's the second color. So I'm now in the second color growing phase and I'm going to fertilize now. And you guys will see it's becoming the next blue. So let's get over to my, uh, yeah, where is he? Ah, he's over there. Okay, that's my fertilizing machine on my tractor. So let's get in it. Okay, and uh, now I'm fertilizing stage 2 and you guys can still uh, think, yeah, it's not that easy anymore to see the difference. But of course you can monitor over here and you will see the blue is getting bluer, more dark blue. And that means that I'm now at the second stage. So that's this blue. So that's stage number 2. And we are in the next crop phase 2. So we are doing perfect at the moment. And now it's time to forward the speed again. Because, uh, yeah, I need to go now back to the next uh, stage and the last stage to fertilize. And then we are ready to harvest the crops. Okay, guys, and I'm now in the third stage of growing. You guys can see it here. My color changed again. So now it's this color. So only one color more to go. So uh, yeah, it's time to do stage three of the fertilizing process. So uh, I already put my work ready. You guys can see it visually too. My uh, soya beans are now a lot higher. So. Okay, go buddy. Okay, there he goes. And if we go now to the monitor uh, colors. It's becoming very dark. So this was the first. This was the second color. And this is the third color. So now I'm in the last fertilized stage. So now we did it perfect. So we plowed. Uh, we fertilized the first time when we were sowing. If you don't have it in your sewing machine. Just fertilize before you sow with uh, like what I, what I just uh, fertilized with. Uh, then, yeah, let it grow to stage 2, fertilize, let it grow, stage 3, fertilize, and you're done. So, that's the most uh, efficient way to fertilize, and you are, I'm now getting 100% more crops, and that's how you need to do it. So, that was it for this guide, guys. I'm sorry that I uh, look, or I... Sound a little bit tired, but I'm very tired at the moment. So it was not that easy. I, I needed to check that stuff uh, yeah, a couple of times because uh, you need to figure out everything in the simulator. But that is what it makes a very cool game. It's about details that you need to know. So I know there are a lot of guys that just fertilize, 
and fertilize when they think that they need to fertilize but you can monitor that entire process so that was the guide guys uh, if you liked the video give me a like if you like my channel subscribe please i see you guys in the next video uh thanks for watching bye bye have fun